cu a couple for Johnny. I'll ask one at a time. How many times? How many snaps did you guys use the dollar against Washington? Uh, maybe forty snaps or more. Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing, game plan against Washington obviously seemed to be we're going to take away the, we're not going to let them have those explosive plays. How do you feel like that worked? Um, you know, obviously they didn't score a touchdown. We gave up one explosive play uh, as far as a long pass in the second half. Uh, so that was the plan going forward, you know, was uh, we're trying to limit the explosive plays and keep everything in front of us and then just put speed on the field. And, you know, they're a very talented offense, so we had to put, you know, some guys can make some plays for us. Uh, two questions for Johnny as well, and I'll go one at a time as well. Um, the situation where they scored in the second half, there was a lot of interchanging with the linebackers in that particular drive. What was going on there? You had some of the young guys like uh, Kahue was in there as well as Tay Brown, and it looked like maybe there was an issue with Jacob's shoulder. Yeah, Jacob came out of the game. I'm sorry. Came, came out the game, and, um, you know, the young guys had to get, come in and play, and, um, you know, I, I could have helped the young man, you know, that was his first snap in there and gave up a, that route. But, you know, that was all me more than the kid. How could you, okay, so follow up to what you just said there, how could you have helped him there? Uh, just play a better coverage and put somebody over the top and not just have a man, man on man, you know, with the tight end, you know, because uh, they did a nice job. They adjusted to a route where they hide the tight end inside and then leak him out late on a wheel route. You know, and obviously, you know, when you're playing linebacker, you're key in the back and in the back release. The next thing you think, the light, you know, the tight end is staying in, and then he's just leaked out and just lost his eyes. And then the second question was uh, with Takaria, we had the pass breakup that looked like a ball he could have intercepted. How do you coach guys on when to try to knock the ball down, when to try to make an interception? Well, I, I think when you open up and, and trying to find the ball, he saw it the last minute, but you know, like I told him, I said, "Man, trust in your ability to make the play. Just, it was right in front of you. Just make the play, you know." Uh, but it starts with practice. Are you making these things, these plays happen in practice, or are you allowing it to, to happen? Those sort of things we got to fix, and we got to do better, you know, um, uh, the way we're practicing situations so we can make those plays. What about Justin and Brian? Uh, Brandon, how has Leif Magnuson settled into his new role? Uh, yeah, Leif's done a, a good job of just kind of. Um, just keeping us uh, calm and being able to run all the things we like to run um, and not having to, you know, vary. Uh, so he's uh, he's done a solid job so far. He's got some things he's got to clean up. We're continuing to work on those things, uh, you know, um, just making sure his uh, pad level's down and, and keeping leverage and stuff like that. But um, he's done a, he's been able to keep us in the game. And uh, what do you know about his, his background and growing up in Canada and stuff like that? Um, I know he's from Canada, and we, uh, we reference it quite often, and um, now we have fun with it. What do you mean reference it? How'd you bring it up? As you would any other uh, country. That's <laughs> 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 right. I don't, know. I don't have much past that, sorry. But Leif's a great kid. Well, what are your thoughts so far on, on how John Coleman has looked um, with more of maybe an expanded role these last two games with, with Mike not being able to go? Uh, yeah, you know, when a, you got a guy that can step up uh, in a role uh, that you know that Mike has for us, Jonah's been fantastic. Um, we've expected that from him. Um, this isn't a surprise that he's performing well and able to do um, a variety of different things for us, um, as well as give us an attitude in the run game. He's uh, ran really hard the other night. Um, he ran he's ran hard every every game this season. So um, we're excited about him when he's back there, and uh, we just expect uh, more big things from him. Uh, the top quick running back on the team in terms of yards after contact. What is the key to being able to like break a tackle, or, or is it just keeping the legs going? Or? Yeah, for for Jonah, he's got he's got some natural leverage, which is uh, which is he's tough to, tough guy to form tackle, um, but he's really done a great job of building his body up. Um, he's gotten really strong in the off season. He's become more explosive. Um, some of the times he'd get tackled last year, I don't think they'd get him this year. Um, so uh, it has to do with overall body strength and condition and, and being in great shape and, um, and understanding, you know, leverage of the tacklers and how to get in and out of, uh, get in and out of your breaks um, and know when to be smart with the ball and, uh, you know, when you can, you know, uh, get a chance to break somebody down, you do that too. Johnny. How do you compare the skill sets between Michael Penix and Caleb Williams? Uh, I'm different. Uh, obviously, the guy won the Heisman Trophy. He could, he could beat you with his arm. He could beat you with his legs. 
he's a strong guy back there. You know, it's hard to break down, so we got to do a great job of keeping him in the pocket this week because a lot of the explosive plays are coming when he's, you know, when he's scrambling around making big plays. So, you know, that's a big coaching point for us, uh, you know, this week is to make sure we have our eyes on our guys as he, you know, and then we got obviously he got to have somebody to contain the quarterback this week because he's, he's a dangerous player. Uh, one for both of you guys. First, Johnny, on the defensive side of the ball, I think uh, Washington had four or five third down conversions all the way until the third quarter, and then you guys were able to stop them in the fourth. What was the difference there for your guys' defense? Uh, I think we, you know, we, we got to understand the situation. There was a couple of times where third and 15, and we were backpedaling instead of sitting there. You know, um, those are the things that we got to get better at, you know, as a football team and obviously as a, you know, a defensive Grew up on the back end, and then you know there was a couple of times we lost our guys. Would you know our eyes were somewhere else? Those are the things we need to clean up next week. And then for Brennan, uh, just the progression of Fafita in that game. What did you see? How, how was he able to get better throughout that game? Uh, yeah, you know we needed to help him out earlier. Uh, you know the first couple of drives, you know we, uh, we gave him some tough looks, um, but uh, he really settled in after the third drive and played a really good game of football. Um, He's, is we talked about it last week. His confidence is through the roof, so he's uh, he's never going to be one to shy away from a, a tough situation. Um, you know, down 14 and comes back, leads on touchdown drive, and you know, continue to find ways to keep drives alive and um, and uh, play pretty sound football all the way throughout. He had the one turnover um, that he'll learn from, um, and he knew it. Obviously, he knew it right away. But uh, um, he'll be uh, he'll continue to be good for us um, if we need him. Uh, Johnny, you coached uh, Keon Bars and Christian Ronald Wallace uh, last year. What, what made what makes them valuable defensive players? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously they're they're experienced. They played a lot of football, you know, uh, here. And then I think for them, you know, uh, I don't know how much they're using them. Uh, I don't really pay attention to what they're doing down there. You know, I worry about our guys. Uh, but when they, you know, I think that's the one thing they got is experience. And then question is kind of for both of you. Uh, what is what is your fondest memory coaching at USC? Mm, it's a lot. Rose Bowl game, uh, beating Notre Dame, beating Texas. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a great place to, to work at. So it's nice going back to the college. College is a special place uh, to have the opportunity to play there and have an opportunity to coach in it. Is um, is a really really fun thing to to do, man. So I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this is gonna way backtrack. This is 2001. I was at Pittsburgh, and I uh, on our bye week, I came back to see the UCLA USC game. Uh, I think USC shut them out or, to go six and six to get to the bowl. But to see that stadium for the first time in that atmosphere and that environment was was pretty special. Um, that'll that'll stay with me forever. Um, one question for each for Brennan. What's your theory on the, the first quarter struggles that you guys had? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think we were a little bit uh, we were a little bit protective of our quarterback um, first couple of drives, and I think we just need to let him play. And um, so that's that was this week. The other weeks they all they've all got different things. Um, we just need to play our, our game, uh, do what we do really well, and um, you know make sure our guys uh, you know feel really confident going to the game, which they always do. But um, you know instead of you know feeling it out, let's just go play right away. Those most penalties on the team, and I think most of them are kind of those after the, you know, after the whistle kind of roughing type plays. How do you kind of uh, help him to to balance those two things, being aggressive versus kind of being reckless? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's just him being disciplined. You know, doing the right things. Don't you know? Don't react when guys are pushing you back. It's just a game of football. You know, you got to grow up. You know, and I think he's learning through it. Had a great conversation with him because we're going to need him. You know, uh, we can't afford to do that. You're hurting the team more than anything else. Uh, you know, so moving forward, th th those are the things that he needs to clean up. Um, you know, to help us out. Uh, Johnny, the, the defense is giving up just over four yards per play in the fourth quarter. Is that a, a good indication that the the rotation is working as far as keeping players fresh? Oh, there's no doubt. That's, that's exactly what you know. Uh, when I got here, I said the importance of playing so many guys because when you get down the line in the fourth quarter, you're gonna, you know, keeping your guys the best guys that you have, you know, so they can execute at that time in critical times to give us a chance to win. That's that's always been the plan. And, and with that, 
uh, we saw a new guy in there in the mix in Isaiah Johnson. What has he done to get himself into that? Position? Same thing like Manu. You know, at practice, he's going against the ones and he's just doing his job. And if he could do that against our ones, uh, why not? He deserved a chance to play. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of where he's at. You know, he came a long way and, you know, we're going to help me. He's, he's going to have to help us down the line here. You know what I mean? So it was good to see him play. Uh, Brennan, similar follow-up to what I asked Johnny at. In terms of what you said about trying to be able to help Noah early, what are some of those things you guys can do to help him? Uh, yeah, just get him. Uh, it's good for any quarterback to get early completions, just uh, whether it be on a screen or a bubble or, you know, just a, something that he's going to complete, um, you know, in his sleep, really. Uh, and then just get the drive started. Um, can't have negative plays in the first uh, first play of the game. That's that's on me for, you know, not having the right scheme set up for those guys. Um, but just to being efficient early um, and just get the party started. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys.